Let's say in this lesson we design a couple of brushes from scratch. Now you may have done that before, but we're going to get creative in making creative brushes. I've got three things open. I've got the art palette still open. I've got one called monkey, and I've got one called tree, and these are all in your exercise file. So go ahead and open those up. Let's go back to the art palette. Now, go into, let's close this for a minute. Go into Monkey JPEG right there. Pick up your move tool. Grab him and drag up to Art Palette PSD and then bring him in and let go. Cute, isn't he? Turn off the background. Let's go ahead and name it. Layer 1 doesn't say much to me. Monkey sounds like a good name for that layer. We need to get rid of the white unless you want white as a block around the brush when you paint with it. That's an important thing to remember. So let's pick up our magic wand tool. That probably makes sense right here. And we'll get in here. And looks like we got just about all of it. Go ahead and press delete. And we got all the white going around him. And it's important that you get rid of that. Another thing that's important when you make your own brush. You can't have your own brush against a white background, even if it's in another layer. You want to make sure it's against transparency, like I said, unless you want the white or some other color back there. Let's go ahead and turn off background. Now, years ago, like I said, I would recommend that you put a rectangle around the guy. It's easier if you just do this. Control click on monkey. You got him selected. Go up to the word edit, in my case, show all menu items, and there it is. Monkey's uncle however that ever came out. Again, you notice he looks a little bit squished, and that's all right. Click OK. There we go. We have a monkey's uncle. We don't need him anymore. Let's go ahead and turn off monkey. Let's reestablish our background so we can see. Now we go into our brush presets and pick up a brush, and we should have him right at the bottom, right down here. If we click, we have a monkey. And notice the colors that he was are not there anymore. This is shades of gray because we're working with the color black. If I come up here and alt click, say, on blue to change the color, we now have a blue monkey. Of course, if we attempt to drag, that's not going to work. But let's not worry about that yet. Let's make one more brush. So control A, delete out of palette. Let's go back to a more urbane kind of brush for a minute so we don't get confused. Close that out. Do one more. Come over here to Tree. Now in Tree, let's go ahead and move it over with the Move tool into the Art Palette. We could actually make it here. We don't have to do this. And we go over here and we bring it over. This one's going to be a little bit bigger, so we need to reduce its size. Here's the trick. Press Control T. That's just a shortcut for free transform. Now you'll notice the width and the height are at 100%. Click this button to lock those two together for proportion, and then click on the H or the W and drag. Bring it down to a size that we can manage, and then we can go to a corner if we want, and hold the Shift key to keep that proportion. How big do you want the initial brush? That's what we're doing. Remember, you can change the size of this and make it bigger or smaller, but how big do you want the initial brush? Let's say about like that. If we turn off background, and let's go ahead and name that one too so we know what we're doing. Get rid of the white. Now this time I want you to do something. When you pick up the magic wand, make sure that contiguous up here is off. Because we do have some areas inside that tree that I want to get all those areas. And if I click here, typically it's going to get them all. Go ahead and press delete. Now there's one other thing we're going to do. When you convert this into a brush, it is converted into shades of gray. But maybe I want to control how the grays look, because that will control how the paint or the color looks when I use it. So let's do this. Select Tree. Come up into your Adjustments and choose the Black and White Adjustment, which is right here. What we can do now is play around with the actual definition of those colors and get it just maybe a little bit lighter. Maybe something like that. I like that. 
What we'll do next is merge this into tree with a control E, that's the shortcut. That's our brush. Easiest way, control click. Go up to the word edit, and again in my case, show all menu items. Fine brush preset, let's call it Andy's Tree. Actually, why don't you substitute your own name there and click OK. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Turn back on background so we can see the white. Pick up a paintbrush, go over here. And it will be at the bottom. And there it is. If we come over here, let me go ahead and turn on palette and then alt click, say, on this one. And we have a blue tree. Green is pretty intense for this kind of stuff. Hard to see it. How about red? A forest of multicolored trees. You can make a brush literally out of anything. The problem to me now is how do we use it maybe to scatter some trees around or scatter some monkeys around or scatter some maple leaves around? That's what's coming up in the next lesson because we're going to get into these options over here. On to the next.